This problem has some new notation that you may not have seen before. We have this notation here, dy dx. Now what is dy dx? That's actually notation for the derivative of y with respect to x. That means that I'm working with the formula for y where x is the only variable. And then it says I'm trying to find the derivative and then this line here means you're finding the derivative at x equals 3. So what is it that we're actually doing here? It's actually asking you to find this. They want you to find f primed of 3. Then it says they want you to find the equation of the tangent line at that x value of 3. So I need to, uh, I can either go through the whole limit process or since they give me a number, I can actually go through this uh, numerically like I did before in a previous section. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do limit as h goes to 0 and I'm going to do Instead of doing f of x plus h, I'm actually going to use the 3 here since they gave me that value. So I'm going to do f of 3 plus h and minus f of 3 and that's going to be over h. So this way I can do this whole problem numerically using the numbers. Now of course if it asks us, asks us to find just the derivative and there was no number given, then what I would do is I'd be using the same formula I've done for the previous examples in this section. I'd just be putting in an x for both of those, but since they give us the value, I can find that by using this formula from the previous section. All right, so now we're gonna do f of three plus h. That's putting in x plus h inside here. So I'm gonna do three plus h cubed, and then plus two minus f of three. f of three, okay, I gotta put three in here to figure out what value to put in. So this time they don't give us a point, so I gotta plug the three in. So if I put three in here, three cubed is 27 plus two, 29. So I'm gonna put 29 in, that's for my f of three. That's the y value when x is three. Then I have h. Now, just a matter of expanding all this out and simplifying it. Three plus h cubed, remember, when you do that kind of problem, you're multiplying three of these together. Okay, so we're going to do three of those together, and then I have negative 29 plus 2. And so when I add 2 to it, then I'm going to get negative 27. Okay. All that's going to be over. Don't forget the h in the bottom. We need to multiply all this out. Limit h goes to 0. We're going to multiply two of these together first. Okay, so we're going to do 9 plus 6h plus h squared minus 27. All that's going to be over h. Then I have multi since I multiplied two of them, now I can multiply one more. We're going to do three times everything inside the parentheses. 27 plus 18h. And then we're going to do 3 times h squared is 3h squared. And then we're going to do h times everything, 9h. I get 6h squared, h cubed, and then minus 27. All that's going to be over h. So again, 3 times everything inside, and then I did h times everything inside. You should get 6 terms here, expand it out, and then they have minus 27. We can do some simplifying on this. First of all, 27s, those are both going to cancel. Then let's look at like terms. I have an h cubed that nothing else is going to go with. Next thing I'm going to do is look at the squares. So I have 3 and 6, it's going to give me 9 h squared. I have the h terms, that's going to be 27 h. That's it, They're the single terms of 27s, again, we cancel that out, all this is gonna be over h. We're finally down to a point where we can factor. So I'm gonna pull an h out of the top, h squared plus 9h plus 27h on the bottom. We can cancel out the h's. Once we cancel that out, we're ready to plug in zeros for both of those. And if I do, I get 0 squared, 9 times 0, 
plus 27. Okay, so then that's going to equal 27. So 27, that's the, expre the answer for this. That's the value of dy. So let's go ahead and let's write that out. Or I can even use this notation, f prime to 3. So if I write that out, f prime to 3, so you have time to write that, otherwise you can stop and rewind the uh, video here. f prime to 3 is equal to 27. That's exactly the same notation as this right here. Next, it says, find the equation of the tangent line at this x value. This value right here, negative 29, originally we said that, that the point that we had there was this one. When I put in, when I found f of 3 earlier, put 3 in here, I got 20, negative 29, or actually positive 29 here. Yeah, 3 and positive 29. Okay, so that's the point that is actually on this line here, x cubed plus 2, 3 and 29. I'm going to use that in order to get the equation of a tangent line. We're going to come back to what we did before in a previous section. We're going to start with y equals mx plus b. We're going to put in the x and the y. 29 equals my slope, which is 27. My x is 3. And then plus b. Okay, so we have 29. And when we multiply this out, we're going to get 81 plus b. We're going to subtract 81 from both sides. And we finally get our, our answer for b right there. And when we do, we're going to get get 52 here, make sure I subtract that correctly. Negative 52 we'll get for the answer when we subtract those. And so then that's our answer for B. So our final answer is Y equals 27X minus 52. That would be the equation of the tangent line at the value of X equals 3.